Hi everyone. Hey, on today's lesson we're going to go over how to use a layer mask to do a cutout background. Um, and this is what we call in Photoshop a non-destructive technique because we're not destroying the original pixels. Uh, all of the information is still there. We're not getting rid of anything. We're just going to basically put a mask, sort of like a face mask, over the parts that we don't want to see. All right. So we're going to do a cutout background here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I've already made a copy of this image. Anytime you take a photo, make sure you save a second copy before you start editing it, just in case you ever have to go back to the original. All right. Since this is my copy, I'm going to go ahead and first um, crop the image. It's going to make it a little bit easier to work on. Uh, the crop tool is right over here, or it's also C on your keyboard, C for crop. And I'm just going to click and drag around the outside and just leave a little bit of space. You know, don't, uh, don't do it too close to the image you want to. Uh, cut out. Uh, that's about good right there. All right, so let's start selecting some pixels. Um, we recently talked about the quick selection tool, and I'm going to come over here, and just like we did before, we can make the quick selection tool bigger with the right bracket. Let's go a little bit bigger. That's a good spot. Hey, that grabbed the shirt right away. And we're going to try to grab the rest of our subject. And as you can see, we immediately jumped out and it grabbed some pixels that are similar in shade over here. But I'm going to leave that as part of our part of the lesson. I'm holding space bar to pan. I'm going to go back to my quick selection tool, which is also W. And I'm going to click and drag. All right, this higher is going to be a little bit tricky here. Um, you'll see in a moment. Space bar to pan down. And let's grab pant leg and right pant leg. And let's grab shoes. And other set of shoes. Hey, this actually uh, got a pretty good selection here. There's some there's some parts that are going to need some work here, but I'm going to leave that for um, the lesson. All right. Once you made your selection, now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the layer mask, and it's real quick and easy. It's only just one button over here on our layers toolbar. It's the square with a circle inside, and this is apply layer mask. And all of a sudden. Boom, it adds this little layer mask. And the black part is the mask. That's covering the part that we don't want to see. And the white part is what we do see. Now, how do we work on our layer mask? Our layer mask is done with just a black and white brush. That's it. As you can see over here, the black part is what's being covered. The white part is what we see. So on this portion, we want to cover this up. So we want to add it uh, black paintbrush to to our layer mask. Now when you're using your black brush, make sure, make sure that you are not on your image. This is the image, has a white box around it. This is a layer mask. This is the image. This is the layer mask. Make sure you, you've selected your layer mask. I'm going to go B for brush on my keyboard. Let's double check to make sure that I have a hard brush here. Hardness is turned all the way up. And I always like to be safe and hit D for default on my keyboard. D for default is for your black and white swatches here your foreground and your background. So D for default, and the shortcut to switch them is X on your keyboard. X, 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 X. And keep your left hand on X because you're going to uh, be switching back and forth. So, like we said before, the black part, I'm going to paint in black to cover up. So this portion right here, I don't, this is not part of my subject here. So I'm just going to paint in black and you'll see that it just covers it up. And no, I'm not using an eraser. It is actually just masking those pixels. Now, if you want to double check it, we're going to disable the layer mask. So over here on your layers toolbar, on the layer mask itself, right click, disable, and it turns the mask off, uh, represented by this red X here. And as you can see, all the pixels are there. So like I said, this is a non-destructive technique. Let's click on this red X, turn it back on. And as you can see, I've got some work to do. Now, I usually like to start off with a small brush, left bracket, left bracket, and come back, and we're just going to kind of brush this area. And to do the detail work, um, I left here. Let me show you a trick. I'm going to hold Shift on my keyboard and come over to here, and that actually will connect it in a straight line. Even those arms, a little bit, there's a little bit of curve to it. it we're so zoomed in, no one's going to notice. And once you come back and get all your, um, all the detail, you could increase the size of your brush and clean up the rest of this stuff. So, now let's show you. That is what the black brush does. The white brush, 
um, Z for zoom and space bar. So the white is what we see on our layer mask. The black is what covers us up. And we need to we need to reveal this part of the shoe. So on the layer mask itself, not the image, but on the layer mask, let's go back to our brush and we're going to switch it. So hit X on your keyboard, put white in the foreground, and we're going to reveal or uncover this part of the shoe. Now, actually, I uncovered too much. So again, I told you you're going to be going back and forth. Let's hit X on your keyboard, left bracket, left bracket, smaller brush, and we're going to cover it back up. And come down over here. I'm just doing this fairly quick for this video. And as you can see, we actually have a pretty good um, cut out background on this. Um, oh no, we got a lot of work to do up here. Now, let me show you a trick. Sometimes it's hard to see pixels that are on this transparent background that's represented by the checkerboard. So I'm going to add a something bright, a nice bright contrasting color to make this layer mask um, easier to do. I'm going to go to my 50-50, a little yin-yang, and I'm going to click on solid color. And it's going to add me a new layer, and I like to use this nice bright green. Whatever is easiest on your eyes, uh, that's pretty bright. I'm going to go and click OK, but I do have one problem. This layer is on top of my subject, so I'm going to click on this layer and drag it beneath. And what that does is that allows me to see these pixels that were a little bit blend, uh, were blending in with that checkered background. There, I saw them, but now I can really see them. All right, so let's zoom in for that. Space bar. B for brush. Now make sure, double check on your layers toolbar, I need to go back to my layer mask and paint in black. And that is going to, oops, that's a very horrible job. Let's click once, hold shift, and it's going to connect it in a straight line. Straight line again. And as you can see, that looks a little better. But I also, once you zoom in on this, you realize, hey, I think I'm missing some right here. Now, let me show you something a little bit more advanced. I think I'm missing something right here. And the way I can tell that what the, there's a new um, update in these newer versions of Photoshop where you actually could go to your properties toolbar. It's up under window, properties. And when you're on your layer mask, you could set the density of the layer mask. So this black layer mask, I'm going to turn the density down. And that allows me to sort of see through it. So I have this mask that's covering up, but it's uh, partly transparent. So yes, I can see that I need this part. So let me go back to my layer mask. Yes, I am. B for brush. X for white. Switch your foreground color to white, and I can reveal this area. And this allows me to know exactly how far I should go out. I know that I'm not going to come all the way out to this area, Control z because I could sort of see through my layer mask. Now, here's always the tricky part. Uh, this is going to take some time. But no matter how much you want to, we could come back and brush this area out if you want to keep all these curls in there. Nope. I'm trying to cover this area, but I'm on my white. Let's hit X and switch us back over. All right. As you can see, I'm covering that area. Control minus, minus, minus. Let's zoom out a few times. And as you can see, I'm just going to leave, we're going to leave that as good enough. You get the idea between brushing in black and brushing in white on your layer mask. Let's go and turn the layer mask opacity all the way back up. And I'm going to turn my green background off. Don't necessarily need to do that. And once you're done, once you're happy with your layer mask, please make sure you f save this file separately. Save this file. And let's go to our move tool, which is V on your keyboard. And grab your subject, and we can just drag it over to whatever image that we want to um, apply you on campus. I'm going to make, I'm going to decrease. I'm, actually, let's let's do a transformation. Control T, Control T, and as I always say, please, please, please make sure you hold Shift when you are scaling. So let's see, let's let's put you back here behind the bricks or something like this. Now. Here's the nice thing about layer masks is remember, we have all of our pixels here. If we realize we're missing something, I'm going to come over to the layer mask, right click, disable, and you can see the full image is there. All my pixels are still available. Let's turn it back on. And I have this. I'm going to mess around with my layer mask in my new file, but I still have my original one where I did all my work. So let's say we want to put Kevin behind these bricks. 
I'm going to come to my brush. I'm on my layer mask. Increase my brush size. And I'm going to start here. Let's going to click once. Hold shift in a straight line. Watch this. I'm going to go in a straight line and try to match that planter. And we can just go ahead and brush the rest of this in black. And watch. And you can see my layer mask has now covered them up. We added Kevin behind the planter over there. Looking pretty tall, though. All right. That's it for today's lesson. I do hope you found something useful. Thank you for watching. Peace.